This is Calcat the Calcatster, and this is a brief update review thingy. Uh, I've seen the trailer for Discovery uh, Season 2. I do not yet own Season 1. It is not on deep Blu-ray yet. I haven't seen enough of it to know what it's going to be about or anything. So, until it comes out on Blu-ray, I will have not seen Season 1. I've seen pieces of it. I know what happens and all that stuff. Season 2, uh, apparently they bring back Pike and and they bring back colors to the uniforms, which is nice, and the Enterprise. Um, yeah, and they also go to uh, the Cillian realm in, in it. Apparently they go to their anomaly field and go there. That'll be cool to see their interpretation of Starship locations. Mm. Anyway, so... Oh, uh, they literally do. There's even a sneezing lizard at one point. Esto is apparently in the story. Of course, because, you know, they, they, if Star Trek has a history of going after that stuff we did years ago. <laughs> uh, Starship Locations will be coming out. And the uh, Starship Locations Chimera movie, formerly Starship Chimera, Star Trek Chimera, a Star Trek parody. Uh, I, keep, I keep saying it's going to come out, and uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I said that last year, I know, it's now it's fall... Uh, midsummer this year, and uh, it's hot in the summer here, so I don't know how much filming will actually get done this summer. But hopefully, uh, uh, late 2018, maybe we'll see the movie. Uh, I'm sure we'll see some early, early takes of it uh, in August, possibly uh, some early uh, footage from the first couple of minutes, since it will uh, avoid the guidelines problem by not being out. Uh, by it'll avoid the guidelines problem by saying it's Starship Locations, a Star Trek parody, uh, and, and that way we can make it any length we want because it is going to be a movie miniseries. It is a go motion animated with with figures, like I did the Trans Tech and the Robotech stuff, uh, Robotech and Transformers parodies, uh, and uh, Mark's cards, and I end it. Uh, and yeah, and there's storybooks that go with the the, the movie and the series. The movie is. Featured as a chapter, or well, about a third of the fourth book, uh, dealing with that universe. Uh, there's all there's all other kinds of things. Uh, so the movie is in is in one of the books, as uh, uh, with the names changed, uh, but in the uh, because we, the books are going to be not a Star Trek parody, but a Star Trek like story, sci-fi universe. Uh, so that we can uh, there's more like yeah. So we can completely avoid that and actually publish it and make money. So if it's completely not Star Trek, it's okay. The the book, the movie, the movie when it comes out will not be paid for in any way. Uh, and as long as it takes, uh, we'll just keep going until we do it. Uh, and that's what we've been doing. And of course, since it's just the two of us toward the final production at this point, uh, it has taken forever, years and years. It's uh, un unbelievable, but I do other stuff, and uh, that that Robotech thing that I did a couple of weeks ago, two a month and a half ago almost now, uh, that is going to be, uh, there's going to be another one, and other stories in that universe, but I was working on the Starship locations and the game, finally putting that together, so you'll actually be able to play that. That'll be free too. The movie will be free on YouTube, the, the game is free, any, any story connection stuff is free, uh, storybook kind of thing free uh the stories will be sufficiently not star trek to avoid copyright problems yes and i cannot show you an actual discovery breakdown because i will get flagged um yeah nothing much going on there was no movie this weekend we're all out of money uh the the uh they were wondering how the purr beast uh, uh he had a little infection on the back of his neck but uh but uh, and but he needed his shots and and all the cat, let me see, and he needed his shots and uh, his nails trimmed a little. They were a little long and uh, all after all of that, it cost a pretty penny. So that that puts us back a little bit, several couple weeks. That's <laughs> get some more money. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So vet vet bills and stuff. So yeah, life gets in the way. Life finds a way to get in the way. Um, here at the, uh, the, uh, the channel. Um, it, yeah, there's a lot of that SJW stuff going around. 
on the internet right now. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and there was uh, also, real quick, uh, uh, two other people from Channel Awesome have mentioned offhandedly the issues of Channel Awesome. That, that was several months ago, so they are discussing it. And I was just working on Fanami 2017 stuff trying to, uh, from last year, that was lost in the other purge of the computer that got all screwed up. Uh, and, and watching the uh, footage, the uh, Doug Walker footage from from over a year ago, and it's awesome. Too bad that it, well, it's uncut footage, so this is the stuff that would be on the DVD that you probably never see. Because um, we can't show it on YouTube because it has music and whatever. But but yeah, yeah, so it's possible we could we could still have some sort of something. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what, 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 what bizarre appearances the uh, the other guys will have from the story. And, uh, <laughs> Ew, and then, of course, there's Aquaman later on. But, but uh, yeah, that poster looks really bad. The Shark Week and Aquaman pasted on top of it. Is that what Marlo fucking... <laughs> is that what Marlo did? He made that awful poster? Well, I bet that's what he did. <laughs> I could have done that better. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah. So uh, anyway. So no, that's not what he did. Anyway. So yeah, I got nothing else. Uh, yeah. Go see uh, Incredibles two. Go see. Sorry to bother you. Go see uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, in a couple of weeks. It's out. Uh, Something coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, action movie. What it is. Something's coming out. But that's in a couple of weeks. So, yeah. So that's my little recap. I'll post this tomorrow. It's not really important to post it tonight. Anyway, so, yeah. Later. I'm down in a hole back here. I was just like I'm leaning. Cause I'm totally leaning. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. This is a cow cat to cow caster, and it's really hot tonight. The set of a uh, movie. I am, I am uh, doing a, uh, this is finally, finally, after finding a um, Staples DVD, Herbert Hymn's uh, double, double-sided discs that came in. Uh, finally doing season, season eight? The Cal Cat Show, official DVD release. So awesome. Uh, it's still touchy though. It's a touch and go. I think I need to get a new DVD blue blue writer that's faster than this older one. It's not quite compatible. It kind of is. I think I just need to get a new writer. They're they're not that expensive nowadays. Um, the one in the computer that comes with it, it's an HP Envy, doesn't really uh, do the thing. Uh, justice, and that's what I'm doing in the background. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing uh, the last couple of days was doing uh, rendering this uh, movie. Uh, uh, looking back on the uh, season, the 2017 season of the Cal Cat Show, uh, was, uh, and then that would be 2018 after that. Uh, and I uh, put those uh, the DVDs, set those up, and then uh, and we have. I already have the hard copies on other discs, but I want to make sure to have hard physical media as well, just in case in the future anybody wants to make DVD, Blu-ray, or whatever versions of them too, they can go back to these and play them. Some of the information was lost when the old computer upgraded to this one in 2017 in March. So this is this is uh, well the other one died. I tried to update and it died. Uh, yeah, it really died. Uh, this is the HP Envy. Uh, uh, Star, uh, uh, Star Trek Chimera is, oh, it's uh, coming up there. Older stuff from Star Trek Chimera that I found. 2011 to 2015. Uh, including all the trailers and uh, the Super Bowl spots from 2016. The movie was not coming out in 2016, so we had all these jump-the-gun things. Uh, yeah, so uh, it looks like uh, uh, there were there were 20 minutes left to film in in the, the spring of 2016, 
And like the chicken place in the mall, they kept saying 2016, 2017. It's not out yet. Uh, Chimera, uh, it's not out yet. And uh, although I've done done the story books and the Silly Trek books, the Starship Locations books, uh, you didn't miss it because it hasn't come out yet. Also, we want to get uh, a little bit of uh, of uh, unofficial permission. <coughs> Greetings. Uh, I'm doing a, a rendering back there from the, the Chimera stuff. Older Chimera stuff, yeah. Just to put it out physical media in addition to the media discs that are the hard drive. Mm -hmm. Little spool things over like this. They, they make them smaller now. This one's a little flaky though, so I think I want to copy off the uh, stuff that's on it as well. Mm -hmm. See, see, this is what Trek Yards needed when they lost, an, lost a uh, laptop at one of the conventions, they needed to have one of these for them. So that when they had all their video footage done, gone into the hotel room and rendered it all onto one of these as a copy, and I put that in their bag. So they have all the video footage in one of these. They're not going to lose that footage. Do whatever they want. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah, so I was watching some films. I was watching the Nostalgia Critic movie. Well, the review of the Nostalgia Critic. I've seen it before. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, uh, uh, their, their film school movie. And it, uh, it kind of inspired me to, to do that. Their, their film school movie and their, their show. They later merged with the... Uh, Stone Gremlins Productions, and then they did a. Uh, they merged with a nostalgia critic, the nostalgia critic, and uh, yeah. So this is Stone Gremlins, and the Cinema Snob movie, Cinema Snob. Movie. Uh, yeah. So they're part of that. They aren't officially anymore, but unofficially they. Um. Uh, and incidentally, the uh, the video that I posted that somebody somebody downvoted one. I don't know why. You know, other than my speculation, uh, the the uh, the both shows, Stone Gremlins and the South Critic, have actually brought up during some of their convention footage from this summer what the controversy that happened. So it isn't like they're ignoring it. It just didn't satisfy the the fa the the toxic fans. Oh, I want to hear more. Oh, it's like no. They're not going to say more, other than it sucked, and they got rid of the one guy. They're not going to say anything more about it. So yeah, over there in Connecticut at the convention, they were like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we, we, they did. They mentioned it." So, anyways, yeah, and at the other convention, they mentioned, it. Uh, "Yeah, but uh, but I'm here, so I'm not with them. It's okay. Uh, I still subscribe to them. 